every household, one parent getting the lion's share of requests for help from the kids. This can get especially overwhelming during the quarantine while you're also trying to keep up with work responsibilities. Ken Dolan, Del Vecchio, founder of Green Gate Leadership, joins us today with some diplomatic solutions to help families struggling with this. Welcome, Ken. Hey, Alana, it's great to be with you. How are you doing? I'm doing well, and thanks for joining me. I know this is a problem that a lot of families uh, are struggling with, and right off the bat, it's something that moms struggle with a lot. How come? How come? Well, moms are often the default parent. They are the primary parent. It's it's gotten to be perhaps less so, but it's still that way. So, for example, when kids are upset or hurt, they're most likely gonna go to their mom. Now, again, broad stroke, not always the case, but that's the way our civilization has been set up for a very long time. And what we're seeing now is that when parents are at home and both are working, very frequently the kids are mobbing mom and leaving dad alone. Yeah, now is there something that moms can do to change this pattern? Well, well, absolutely. And the, the first thing is to is to just mention it and to bring it up and, and talk about it. And moms or dads, parents of any gender, if you notice this imbalance happening, it's just the responsible thing to do to bring it up. And, and I say that realizing that if the other parent is happily working away and isn't noticing it, you might feel like, I don't know, it's a very stressful time. I'm not sure that I should bother even bringing this up, but you might very well have to because you got to get your work done. One point that I think it's useful to make is that when there's stress going on, it's often the case that we'll will go along with chronic stress rather than bring up an issue that's going to provoke a heightened period, even a brief period of acute stress. It's just human nature in many situations. But if we bring it up and we face that, that perhaps a little bit challenging conversation, you can work out a deal that's going to be much more fair and reasonable for both parents. And, and therefore, their kids are going to feel more comfortable, too, because you're not going to feel resentful when, when it's your time to, to be the primary parent. That's right. You don't want you want to address the issue as it uh, arises rather letting it simmer and grow, because I can imagine this is something that could spill in and affect your relationship eventually. Absolutely. So if you're the one who it's brought to, you want to listen, you want to remember your own observations of how things have been going these past couple weeks during the time that you're working from home, you don't want to be defensive. You want to take responsibility and say, okay, so let's talk about this. What are we going to do? And there's very simple ideas that immediately come to mind. And there are things like you can alternate days or parts of days when you are the primary parent, you're the go-to parent. and Or you can negotiate that in a way that's more tied to whatever work priorities you may have. So maybe you've got a day where you've got a number of meetings back to back on Zoom. You you then need to have some uninterrupted time. The other parent, your your co-parent can take responsibility during that time. Some some people might even have the opportunity to alter their shifts at work mm -hmm. so that one parent can be entirely devoted to child care for a shift and then and then go to work remotely afterwards and work it out that way. That makes a lot of sense. What about the kids? Should we present the plan to them or let them know what's going on? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we want our kids to know, right? You've got to inform them and you've got to remind them to pay what their ages you need to remind them over and over again. This is mom's time to work. Dad's in the other room. You can knock on the door and 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 he'll be he'll be happy to help you or but you're gonna have to reinforce it probably repeatedly depending on how old your kids are and and how responsive they are to this kind of message. Also, you got to make sure that the two of you are in alignment, that you're being 
really consistent with this in following through and that you're keeping the line of communication open. So if you need to change it, you do that in a way that is through a conversation and not through assumptions. You know, assumptions can get us into a lot of difficulties. They certainly can. Well, your suggestions are certainly going to lead to a more diplomatic and cooperative household. Thank you so much for joining me, Ken, with these tips. Oh, you're very welcome. Take care, Alana. You too. Peace.